Several months ago, we had a little video about our winter garden tour. We're now on June the 2nd, and I thought I would take you along for a small garden tour update. We finally managed to get some things organized, although we're still quite far away from being completed. So as you remember, I was building some planter boxes. So I'll show you what we got here. We've got the poles all set up for our fencing around our garden, as we still have a lot of deer that could chew everything up. So we're going to try to protect what we have this year in our planter boxes. So you can see we've filled them up and the ladies have been planting some seeds. In an earlier short you could see that these poles had blown over just two days ago with massive wind gusts of 60-70 clicks an hour. So we're back in business and you can see of course the weeds like grasses like this one over here do really well but it's an early stage so they can clean up now you can see a lot of leaf debris from the massive wind storms that we've had in the last couple of days of course littering all over our planter boxes so we'll probably have to start cleaning those up so there's not much progress to show you yet other than we have been seeding and we now need to do a little bit more maintenance on it and then pray for things to come up. Now one of the things that we do have is this bed here where we can see little sprouts coming up of our little onion bulbs. So this section definitely has signs of life. Here's a prime example of a nice onion shoot that has come up. So things are looking good in this planter box and we had bought three tomatoes who survived the frost. So they're finally enjoying more summer-like temperatures. 20, 22 degrees and of course we're gonna get some rain this week so no need for watering too much even though I watered them today but that's right now what we've got accomplished so this coming week probably working on setting up my fence around and of course we're gonna have to do some more seeding so as you remember here behind we had our field and so what I've managed to do here is rototiller this field and prepare it probably gonna put some corn in this week maybe some spelt, some wheat. But you can see it's looking much better even though some of the dandelions even after rototiller still are popping up so I may have to go over with the rototiller once more to knock these ones off. Then we go around the tree line here and you can see that here also we did some work. The ladies planted new evergreens, I'm extending our bush line a little bit. And after rototilling this field, I've started setting up some ridges in which we are going to be planting our potatoes. So I'm hoping to get at least three more rows tomorrow so that we can get six rows set up and then we'll have 
those first six rows of potatoes set in. And so we have lots of space here yet. So that's our progress on this side here. Now you'll notice here the raspberries are not looking good. And we wonder if this has to do with the spray, the farm spray that we received last year from a little spray plane that came over us. Now over here we have our has caps and you can see the north side that didn't receive the spray is looking much better than the south side. But you can see we have lots and lots of flowers on the has cap. And of course it's been buzzing with bees the last couple of days. Unfortunately not ours because our bees all ended up dying. We're getting a new batch of bees in about two weeks. But yeah, we should have lots of hascaps this year, or honeyberries, that's the alternative name. Now here we have this patch all rototilled, and this should be set up for our flowers. So we want to create a more of a flower garden for our bees once they come. Now of course if they had been here, lots and lots of dandelions on our property and so they could have had a feast. Now down here we have some shoots that we were able to purchase. My daughter ended up doing that for us. And so those were blackberries. Here we got some Red currant bushes. Last year's Saskatoon berry has grown up, woken up, so that's good. And so we have some several other plants that we planted this spring. Again, you can see north side of the cherry tree survived really well. The south side, probably because of the spray, ended up dying off. So we're not very happy with the farmer who did that. So here's a young cherry. And here's the other young cherry and we had to put these cages around it because right away the deer chewed off all the leaves on this one. So unfortunately, he has to recover. Here we can see our asparagus is waking up. And so we have our shoots of asparagus coming up. The rhubarb already doing really well. And you can see that even the rhubarb is attempting already to flower. So we're gonna have to nick them out. Here we have a hazelnut that my daughter picked up and seems to be doing well. Down here, again in the cage to protect it, we have a wild blueberry. And here's another wild blueberry. And there's another hazelnut. So there's more rhubarb. We have lots of rhubarb on this place. Previous owners apparently love rhubarb because we have it here, we have it in the bush. So no shortage of rhubarb. So then in the large purchase, oh, here's another example of wildlife, a little froggy jumping around. But here's our other area of asparagus. These are our new elderberry bushes. And they also seem to be doing okay. We'll see what happens. Hopefully they survive. Trip all the way from Quebec. Here we have one of the two pear trees. Here is the other one, another pear tree. And so we can see pretty well on all the trees 
the south side has been suffering, which we probably think has to do with the spray from the farmer. So we're not really happy with that, like I mentioned before. But the north side, still doing well. See lots of flowers on it. Here again, south side looking poor. But the north side, oh, look at all the flowers. Lots of apples. Now, we haven't had no time to prune any of these trees yet. Too much other work to do. But in the near future, hopefully we can start tackling chores like that. And get a little bit of a grip on that. Here's a nice mountain ash. Lots of flower heads in the mountain ash. More out in mountain ash on that side. So then last but not least, you can see there's a couple of stakes there indicating some maple trees with some oak trees that my daughter also picked up. You can see Daisy and Oliver watching me. And our new addition, Lavender, a little further in the background. But to finish the garden tour, what we have here are two white and two red grape plants. So we got it, got the trellis set up and hopefully we see some growth. So we thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.